Okay, what do you choose? Uh, I choose snow, because I want to be just like mommy. Aw, good choice, honey. Don't you worry. I'll teach you how to use your powers. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. Alicia, meet your new stepmom, Greta. What a pleasure it is to meet- Ah! Oh, my hand! I'm so sorry, I- I didn't mean to. My hand, it's blue! Go to your room. Is she going to be okay? She has frostbite, but it's mild. Are those the gloves I gave you? Good. Keep them on until you can get your powers under control. Darling, she could have killed me. I am so sorry. Her powers, they've been going haywire ever since her mother passed. Well, she is a danger to all of us. She should be locked in that room. No, I couldn't do that to her. Don't you care about me? Greta, of course I do. Then it's settled. She won't ever leave that room. Here's your breakfast, princess. Aw, oh, thank you. <gasps> you took off your gloves? Uh, yeah, just for a second, though. Oh my gosh. Uh, stay back. I'm gonna leave the food right here. Wait! Hey, Alicia, can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Because it doesn't seem like anyone else is allowed in here. I'm sorry, but I can't have you hurting people with your powers. I won't. I can control them now. Okay, then. Make a single snowflake. Just one? Uh-huh. Like how your mother used to. See? It's all right. You can't do it. But I can learn. I know you will. But until then, you have to stay in here. Dad, please. Put your gloves back on, all right? I'll be back to check on you later. If no one's even allowed near me, what's the point of wearing these anyways? I have to get out of here. Here's your lunch, princess. <gasps> hey! Guards, stop her! She froze my feet to the floor! Put your gloves back on, princess. So you guys can keep me locked in here? I don't think so. <gasps> hey! Stop her! I made it. I'm... I'm free. But where will I go? Mom always said that I could create anything that I imagined, so why don't I just make a place for myself to live? Stop it. You got this. It's working. Whoa, I can't believe I made this place. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it'll do. I just feel like I'm gonna get a little bit lonely in here, so maybe I can make myself some sort of a pet. I've always wanted a dog. Oh, I think I'll call you Snowball. Ah! Well, well. Greta, what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. This is my home now. I think it's time I showed you my little secret. You have powers? Yes, I was a princess after all. Guess which one I chose? Why don't I just show you? You have fire powers? Mm-hmm. And I'm impressed with this place, but I think it could use a little remodeling. Stop! You're melting it! <laughs> exactly. Snowball, run! <laughs> Guards, get her. Yes, your majesty. Stay back. I'm... I'm warning you. Come on, work. That's enough. Let's go. Uh. Sit down. <sighs> Sorry for the restraints, Alicia, but your powers are just out of control. I want to speak to my dad. Oh, Alicia, I'm so sorry. Who wants to break her the news? What happened was all your fault, really. What are you talking about? Will you see, dear? After you ran away, your father went to go looking for you. I begged him not to, but he wouldn't listen. He hasn't returned since. What? Yes, and I guess with him gone, I'm your guardian now. No, you have to send guards out to go looking for him. No one could survive in that snowstorm, Alicia. And to think this all happened because you ran away. The king is gone because of you. Take her to the dungeon. What if he's still out there, probably freezing to death? Oh, if I could just get my hands out of these things. Oh, it's no use. I'm never going to get out of here. Focus. Focus. Who said that? You know who I am. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. The necklace, it, it must be magic. Mom, please, tell me how to get out of here. Did you receive any powers yet? No. Everyone's already received their powers but me. I guess I don't get any. <gasps> no, I missed the bus. Hey, wanna fly to school with me? For sure, I'll race ya. We'd invite you, Brianna, but you have no powers. Whatever. I like 
walking anyways. You're a powerless freak. Nobody likes you. Hey, stop it. I never said anything. I know you're using your telepathic powers to bully me. How can a powerless loser like her even show her face at this school? I know, she shouldn't even exist. I can't take this anymore. Mom, I'm leaving the city. I'm the only person without a power. I don't belong here. I think that's best. Mom, why did you call me? You need to come back right away. Since you left, everyone's lost their powers. When are you coming back? Everyone's so worried about their powers. Mom, I'm not coming back. Goodbye. Hello, miss. Mr. President? Come back with me right away. You're an important asset to the city. I won't. Everyone in that city treated me so badly because they thought I was powerless. Well, I can assure you that this time, it won't be the case. Brianna, you're back. Oh my gosh, I missed you so much. Wow, your hair looks so nice today. Brianna, welcome. We're so grateful you're back. Yo, Brianna, I never told you this before, but I have a massive crush on you. Want a date? Girly, he's so cute. You guys should totally date. All of you guys are fake. You guys are only being nice to me because you want to keep your powers. <gasps> 24 hours? It's the first time it hasn't been zero. Look at that loser over there. She can never hear anything. Shh, she's looking over. Maybe she can hear. There's no way. She's never been able to hear her entire life. Hey, Brianna, your hair looks super ugly today. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, she can't even hear it. Leave her alone. Don't you have better things to do with your lives? They're such jerks. I'm sorry. Here. I wrote you a note since I know you can't hear me. Let's talk through these now, okay? Here. I have another note. You look so beautiful today. I really wish we could talk to each other. Dude, you are such a loser for hanging out with her. I don't think he's a loser. Wait, you can- Oh, please don't be zero. 24 hours again? That's the second time in a row. Hey, babe. Babe. Oh, no. You can't hear today? Here. I'll write you notes so we can still communicate, just like you did for me. OMG, bro, Blake has no hours today. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> hey, shut up. In class, that is why I believe the Earth is flat. Now pay attention, this might be on the test tomorrow. You're lucky you can't hear anything. Mrs. Smith won't stop talking. <laughs> Look what you did, Brianna. Since you started dating Blake, he hasn't been able to hear anything. She must have cursed him. Actually, I can hear just fine. You can hear today? <laughs> you played me. Can I please have some words? How many do you have? 30. Aw, you only have 30 words? Please, help me. You poor, unfortunate soul. Oh. Now you have none. <laughs> Toodles. Ursula. Yes? You have to be careful. There's a mass word stealer on the loose. Thanks for the warning. They're gonna catch them soon, but we have to be careful. What do you mean? Everyone's gonna get a danger level. The person stealing the words will have to have a five. We get our numbers today, so they'll find them soon. Oh, I just got mine now. Wait, you're a five. Mm -hmm. Shh! Now what am I going to do? They're going to find out it's me who's been stealing all the words. Now what am I going to do? They're going to find out it's me who's been stealing all the words. Gift Harry a hundred words? Certainly can't hurt. Oh. I see what you did there. Ursula, can you move down a chair so we can sit next to each other? No. Seriously? It's just one chair. Come on, it's the only chair left. I said, no. No wonder nobody likes you. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you the word thief? Mr. Nelson, mm -hmm. Now, do you understand the word no? Attention students, please make your way to the auditorium for your danger level check. Send a hundred words to Harry. All right, you're next. Danger level one. It can't be her. Thank you. Next. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. can't talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks like she's trying to tell us something. Quick, somebody give her words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, what happened? She died. The thief must have taken her soul. Her soul? If she doesn't have any words, that's the next thing they take. Their level has to be a five right now. No one can leave the auditorium until they're found. Transfer 200 words to Harry.
Transfer 2,000 words to Harry. The thief has got to be in here somewhere. Yes, Ursula? We've been here for hours, and some of us are innocent. May we go? No, no one's allowed to leave the auditorium until the thief is found. Well, good luck fighting me with no words. <gasps> Olga? What the heck just happened? Stand up right now. No offense, Miss Jean, but I think she died. It's the word thief. They're getting stronger. They're not taking words anymore. They're only taking souls. Oops. Everyone in a line, now. Transfer 2,000 words to Harry. What? I can't keep doing this. I'm gonna run out of words. Transfer one soul to Harry. Uh, guys? The thief gave me a soul. Harry, what are you talking about? Someone's been secretly giving me words. I thought it was a secret admirer being generous, but now she just gave me Olga's soul. Guys, I think the thief is in love with me. Unfortunately, Harry, I think you're right. Only your soulmate can gift you words. What? You're right. Only your soulmate can gift you words. What? Harry, tell us who your soulmate is. I, I don't know. I swear. You've never made eye contact with them? I guess not. Well then, there's only one way to do this. Everybody in a line, regardless of how you identify. Now Harry, when you make eye contact with your soulmate, tell us immediately. Ursula, eyes up. Oops, sorry. <gasps> it's... What is it, Harry? Is it her? No, she just has really beautiful eyes. Thank you. Now is not the time to flirt, Harry. Next, we went through the whole room. Which one was your soulmate? None of them, I guess. That's impossible. They have to be in here. I didn't make eye contact with you though, Miss Jean. Oh, Harry, don't be disgusting. Miss Jean, he has a point. Principal Franklin, of course it's not me. Then make eye contact with Harry. Fine. <gasps> it's her. He's clearly lying. Miss Jean, come with us. Ursula. Harry, thanks for not telling on me. Thanks for giving me words when I didn't have that many. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. But no more gifting souls, okay? I'm done taking souls. Unless a beautiful redhead named Ariel comes along, I'm retired. Good. Now I can take you on a date without worrying about you killing the waiter. Bro, get out of there. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. So close. It's not fair. Dude, watch how many words you're using. <sighs> I forget about this word stuff, man. Yeah, that's why you never have any words. I'm getting off. Later, man. I... GG's, Jerry. I'll call you later. Man, I used up all my words on Fortnite again! <gasps> huh? Somebody gifted me 200 words? <gasps> I gotta tell Jerry. Hello? Jerry! You won't believe what just happened, man. Bet. Someone just gifted me 200 words. Wait, are you on the throne right now? Yeah, but I'm using my sister's bath. She'll have a hairy surprise when she comes home, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know what you're saying. Why is it Harry? No, Harry. Harry. I'm Harry. And I'm Jerry. Ah, forget it. Speech? What's this? It's a new thing started by the government. You're given a certain amount of words a day, and you must use all of them, or else. Well, I only have 18 words today. That shouldn't be hard to use. Brianna, how many words do you need to use today? 18. Wow, you're so lucky. I got 5,000 words I have to use today, so I have to talk super fast, and I have to use lots and lots of words. Talk, 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 talk. I can't stop talking, can't stop talking. The day is almost done. Did you use all your words? Yes. These are my last words, too. Oh, no, 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 Honey, what's wrong? I got 100,000 words to use today. How can I use all those words? You'll have to try your best. I don't understand. I only had 55 words. Now I have so many. What's wrong with your voice? I lost my voice talking so much yesterday. I won't be able to use all my words. No, no. You can do it. You can. I can hardly talk. I want to switch my words back. Hello? The government? Are you there? God? Bestie, keep on trying to talk. The day's not over yet. I, I can't. Bestie, I'm so sorry. I love you. It's okay. It's not your fault. I heard from your best friend's mom she passed away. She couldn't use all her words. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll be okay. Ooh.
Your soulmate heart magnet came in. Yay! This isn't a heart. It will only make a heart with your soulmate. The magnetic force will pull you towards him, helping you find your soulmate. Wow. All right, kids, time to finger paint. Yay! My heart necklace is making a noise. It's the magnetic force pulling you towards your soulmate. <laughs> Ow. Your soulmate must have been somewhere close. Too bad there was a wall in the way. What's going on? My soulmate must be near. Take me to him. Hey, Bree, where are you off to? Can I come with? My necklace is taking me to my soulmate. <laughs> Why is it pulling me to the floor? Girl, are you okay? I found the other half of my necklace, but I didn't find him. Oh, no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. I found the other half of my necklace, but I didn't find him. Oh, no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. We have to find out who it is. I need to make an announcement. No, you will not. Attention, everyone. There has been a missing soulmate heart magnet found in the hallway. If anyone is missing their soulmate magnet, come to the office immediately. Give that back to me. You are in big trouble. I heard you guys found a soulmate magnet. I lost mine. Really? You must be my soulmate then. Yeah, I lost it back when I was six years old. Six? What? My soulmate would have lost his magnet in high school, not when he was six. No one else has came forward for missing magnet. Maybe I'll never find my soulmate. I hear a soulmate magnet was found. I lost mine last time I was here visiting the school. <gasps> the prince is your soulmate! You're my soulmate? Nobody wants a 17-year-old anyways. Hey. Sissy, hi! Do you want to play dolls with me? Actually, I need to tell you- <clears throat> Susie, there's a family that wants to speak with you. Oh, okay. Today might be your lucky day. Guess what? They want to adopt me, but I think they'll adopt you too. No, Susie. It's just you. What? No. Listen, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna visit you all the time, and I want you to have this. Mom and Dad gave me this when I was little, and now I'm giving it to you. As long as you're wearing it, I can always find you. Sissy, do you promise? I promise. I wish Mommy and Daddy were still here. Me too, Susie, but these people are gonna take really good care of you. This just in, a couple accused of identity theft is on the loose. If you recognize these people, we urge you to call the authorities. That looks like the people that adopted. Susie. What does your sister look like? She looks a lot like me. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and she's always wearing pink. Okay, listen, I got my men on it right now. Here, take my card and let me know if you get any more new information. I told Susie that they were good people, but they weren't. How could I let this happen? They seemed so nice. Who knows where they're taking her? I want you to have this. Wait, I can know. I gave her that necklace and it can track her. It shows she's headed to New York? And where do you think you're going? To save my sister. Oh, are you insane? You're staying here. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. My mother is responsible for you. If anything happens, she gets in trouble. So come here. Hey! You are not to leave this room. No, we- Officer Blart, I am telling you that I have a tracker on her. You should have told us that earlier. Besides, our sources are showing her in a different location. Well, then your sources are wrong. I am going to New York, Central Park, where my tracker is showing her. No, kid- Now I just have to sneak out without my foster mom noticing. Don't worry, Susie. I'm coming. It's showing she's inside that warehouse. My sister is gonna- That's enough talking. We are sick of your voice. Hey! Well, look who it is. You shouldn't have come here, kid. No, you shouldn't have taken my sister. You think one little punch is going to stop me? Mm -hmm. Nobody move. Officer Blood here. Let's see some hands. I tracked your phone, kid. She was right. Susie, are you okay? I'm okay. I knew you would find me because cause you promised. That's right, Susie. I'll always find you. We found a family that wants to adopt both of you. Really? Yes, congratulations. Are you a genie? No, I'm your mama. Come on, of course I'm a genie. Uh, okay, no need for the attitude. So, can we, like, wish for anything? Nope, there are rules. And here they are. <sighs> no wishing for money? You already had a chance to get five mil. I... Okay, that's fair. I wish for... Stop! You gotta think about it. All right, all right. Okay, I got it. I wish... Wait. Shh. I wish... You're gonna regret this. Oh my gosh, I wish you would just be quiet. Your wish is my command. 
I didn't mean that. Mm. No, listen, that doesn't count. Come on, turn her back. Sorry, I can't take back any wishes. Hmm? Jeannie, come on, just give her her voice back. The only thing you can do is wish for it back. But if I do that, I'm only going to have one wish left. Look who can do math, yes. Listen, you don't really need your voice, right? Mm. Ow! Okay. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. I can't understand you. Mm. I can't understand you. If only there was some way that she could communicate with me. Now is that the time for texts? This is serious. Mm. I am so bad at making decisions. I wish that I was smarter. Mm. All right, you got it, kid. I know what to do. I've decided I wish for a voice to come back, but this time... My voice is super powerful now? People are literally going to pay to hear you sing, and then we can make lots of money. Just try out your voice right now and um, see what happens. Okay. Five mil or a lamp? Well, I'm like really afraid of the dark, so I gotta have a lamp. This isn't a lamp. It doesn't even have like a light bulb. Did you get your birthday gift yet? Yeah, I picked a lamp, but I got scammed. It doesn't even light up or anything. That's a genie lamp. What? Have you tried rubbing it? Um, no, that's weird. You dumb dumb, you gotta rub it to activate your wishes. Haven't you seen Aladdin? Oh my god, wait, I remember that movie. You're right. So, do I just rub it like this? Yeah, I think so. Nothing's happening. Open the lamp. A breeze. Congrats. You got three wishes. Two million dollars or a pencil. Who in their right mind would ever pick- Tad, you're it! Pencil selected. <gasps> Sorry. You're done. You're done. I could have been rich. I could have been buying myself a new Tesla right now. But instead, I'm stuck with this freaking mechanical pencil. Today, I want you all to write about something you wish would happen to you. Might as well put this to some use. I wish that I was famous and everyone wanted my autograph. I'm all done, Mr. Peters. Bree, is it- is it really you? Um, yeah, it's really me. Ah, guys, she's over here! So I'm pretty sure this thing is magic, and I just made all of you guys think that I'm famous. Can I please get your autograph? No, I was here first! Okay, time to fix this. <laughs> Can I have that paper back? I'm just gonna erase everything. Whoa, it actually worked. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Can I please borrow your pencil? So, can I borrow it? You know what? It's actually broken. I just saw you using it. Well, my answer is no. Whatever. This is why no one likes you. Ugh. Let's see how popular she is after this. Jessica trips in front of her crush. Hey, Joshua! <laughs> Dude, she just tripped on air. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. Wait, what if I just... A water bottle appeared in my hand. No way! So basically, I can have whatever I want. I just have to write it down. I don't feel like walking home today, so what if Tom Holland picked me up from school today? Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tom Holland. Bye. I better put this in my pocket. Oh my gosh, mom, I think my pocket had a hole in it. Please tell me you saw my pencil. I think your sister got it, honey. She's upstairs drawing with it. What? Lily, do you have my pencil? Yeah, but I'm just borrowing it so I can write you a birthday card. Give it back. Wait, I'm drawing you as a princess with a really cute pink rose in your hand, see? <gasps> That's just how I imagined it. Lily, listen, I'm gonna need that back now. Is this pencil magic? Of course not. Hmm, let me see about that. Lily, don't you- My sister couldn't speak. No way, this is so cool. Okay, she can speak again. Lily, that pencil isn't a toy. You never share anything with me. I'm telling mom. Why are you being mean to Lily? I am not being mean to her. She literally stole my birthday gift. You wouldn't have even gotten the pencil if it wasn't for me. Oh yeah? Well watch what I'm gonna do now, smart mouth. Wait, what are you writing? My sister disappeared. What? No! Lily? Where did she just go? Is that pencil magic? No. We only have four minutes left. 
Write down the pencil never runs out of magic. Oh yeah, good idea. Air, that is not allowed. Oh come on. Hurry up and write stuff down then. Okay, okay. Ten seconds left. Let me write the last thing. Write fast. I'm done. Pencil deactivated. I think we did pretty well with the time that we had left. I mean, I'm now a multi-millionaire, I can get free Chick-fil-A whenever I want, and I got this little guy. Do you think mom's gonna get mad at us for all this stuff? No, I think the last thing I wrote is gonna distract her a lot. Oh yeah, what did you wish for? Let me guess, a lifetime supply of candy? Uh, no, that wasn't what I wrote down exactly. Do you want to tell me why I woke up from my nap and had a baby bump all of a sudden? Lily, you didn't. What? I just really wanted a little baby brother, that's all. Well, it looks like you're gonna get your wish because this is just a regular pencil now. And the baby is due tomorrow. What? Only say words that start with D. Dude. Sissy, I got a D on my test. What's mom gonna say? Disgraceful. She's gonna say I'm a disgrace? Giselle, how does my outfit look? I wanna impress Jake. Disgusting. What do you think he's gonna do when he sees me? Dip. Ugh, you're such a bad friend. Dramatic. Do you think the new guy is cute? Duh. I'm gonna call him over. Don't. Hey, Liam, Giselle wants to ask you something. Hey, Giselle, uh, what did you want to ask me? Date. A date? Should I pick you up at seven? Definitely. I think you're a sweet girl. Dream. Wow, you think I'm a dream? Donkey. You're saying I'm a donkey? Dog. Dang it. You can only say words that start with S. Stupid. Sweetie, does this outfit look okay for my job interview? Mm -mm. Scary. You think it looks scary? I worked so hard on it. Sorry. How do you think I should dress for my date? Simple. Hmm, something simple like this? Slay. Class, today you're going to tell each other what you want to be when you grow up. Giselle, you can go first. Shooter. Excuse me? Slut. And that's a detention. Shit. So you're the girl with the questionable career choices. Shut. You're kind of cute. Space. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Smelly. Stop. Can only speak in TikTok? BFFR. Hi, honey. How was dinner yesterday? It was bussin' bussin'. Bussin' bussin'? Yeah, no cap. Thank you, I guess. Giselle, does my outfit look okay? Slay. Wait, really? Girl, you ate that. Scrum give me yum yum ma burr burr. Wow, thank you. Look at the new kid. Isn't he cute? Mid. I heard he's got something going on with his stepsister. Sweet home Alabama. My boyfriend keeps hiding his phone from me. That's sus. I think he's cheating on me. It's not giving. Giselle, will you go on a date with me? Are you simping? Yeah, so will you? No, thank you. I'm in my independent queen era. Put your hands up. Only in Ohio. Can only speak in TikTok again? L. Giselle, look at the girl your ex-boyfriend is talking to. A whoop jump scare. That's the girl he cheated on you with. I might kill my ex. I heard they're officially dating. His new girlfriend's next. Mr. Fitz is so cute. I wish he would notice me. Side eye. What? Side eye. Do you think I should take my boyfriend on a picnic? That's so cringe. How about a movie? Yeah, double your is. Cute necklace. Is it from Shein? It's the knockoff Chanel bag for me. Ah, uh, how dare you! She really thought she ate. I got an A on my math test. Period. Period? Do you need a pad? How was dinner, honey? Ate and left no crumbs. You're adopted. This is my 13th reason.
Ready for the ghoul school? Yes, and I think my creature name is about to appear, but I already know it's gonna say vampire. Actually, darling... Dad, that's the bus. I gotta go. I don't want to be late. Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning about the rarest type of creature. Does anyone know what it is? Isn't the rarest one a mermaid? No, dear. It's a fairy. But aren't fairies extinct? No. Legend says there's only two left in the whole world. That is why all creatures here must get a DNA check. What would happen if one of the students here was a fairy? <laughs> They would be taken for experimentation, but we've never found a fairy before. <laughs> Next in line. Hmm, your facial structure is very unique. Okay, open for the DNA test. We need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my things weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. No, I adopted you. Well, apparently fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? Darling, look! <gasps> what do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA check. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See, that wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Gulia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well... Attention, students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. Uh, don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. I'm sorry, dear, I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in this school. Wait! Oh. Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna? No. Please, work. Darling, are you alright? Yes, thank you. Of course, darling. I will always protect you. I'm sorry I'm not your real dad. Even though we might not be related by blood, you're always gonna be my dad. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you so much, Luna. I love you too. Well, I think it's time we leave this place. I know somewhere safe we can hide away and live. Red alert! What do we do? Well, we both have wings. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Come on, let's go. It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine, I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. Why? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. 
Mom, I'm home. Mom? Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, Captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the... The Pirate King had. Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape. Not so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William. Where are we? We're on Skull Island, Princess. In the exact spot, we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, Your Majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a trap. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? What are you going to wear Friday to the Halloween party? Probably the same thing I wore last year. Girl, no. What? It's a good costume. Yeah, but you've already been Dr. Phil five years in a row. It's my staple. Jess, we're sophomores now. We need to wear something spicy. Hey, Dr. Phil is spicy. I cannot believe you just said that. I don't really have the money to buy a new costume this year. Why don't you ask your parents for some money? Hey, Mom. Yes? Can I borrow 20 bucks? Maria and I are going to go to the mall tonight. Not this week, sweetie. I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. But here, I saw this flyer about someone needing a babysitter. Why don't you call them and see if you can do that for some extra cash? I'll look into it. Thanks. Hello? Hey, my name's Jessica, and I'm calling about your babysitting ad. Great. Would you be able to start tonight? Yeah, I could start tonight. Meet us at 6. Wait, how much does it pay? The pay starts at 100 an hour. It pays what? Thank you for coming over on such short notice. No problem. Are you going to be able to spend the night, too? Oh, um, I'd have to check with my mom. Great, go ahead and do that. Here are the guidelines for babysitting. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Wait, you're leaving already? Did you have any questions? No, but I haven't even checked with my mom yet. Our numbers are on the sheet. Give us a call if you can't stay. Uh, uh, what in the... Tiffany should sleep the entire time we're gone. No need to check on her for she might wake up. Be aware of words Tiffany doesn't like. Hello? No. Teletubbies and babysitter. Have fun and thank you. They didn't leave a phone number. Mom, the parents asked me if I could spend the night with the kid. Yeah, that's fine, sweetie. Are you sure you don't want me to come back home? No, usually overnight gigs pay a lot of money. Yeah, well. 
I can't go to the mall tonight. What? Why? I'm babysitting. Babysitting for who? Some family my mom found an ad for. Hopefully the kid's cool. But it's sus over here, Maria. The parents didn't even leave a phone number. We're back, how'd it go? Fine, I don't think she woke up. Happy to hear that. Here's your payment. Thanks. But you guys should really leave a phone number next time. We told you, our phone number was on the paper, see? That wasn't there, I swear. Are you able to do the same time tomorrow? Same price? Yeah, that works. I'll be here. Thanks again, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, have fun. Who are you? Tiffany. Your name's Tiffany? No. So you lied? Because I hate liars. No, I'm Jessica. And you're Tiffany. No shit, Sherlock. Language. What are you doing in our house? I'm your... Be aware of words Tiffany doesn't like. Babysitter. Watcher. Watcher? What do you think I am, a pet? No, no, no. Good. Then I won't have to kill you. Good. Yet. Go ahead, eat whatever you want. Where's the paper? Here it is. No phone number. They said there was a phone number. You're not gonna find it. Find what? Their phone number. They never leave it for the watchers because they don't want to be linked to your disappearance. What are you talking about? Let me guess, they pick you up down the street at a 7-Eleven so your car isn't parked outside the house. The phone number you called for the job doesn't exist and they pay you in cash. Well, my family and friends know I'm here. Where? At your house. But they don't know the address. Do you even know my parents' names? They're... Yeah, your family and friends don't know shit. Certainly not enough to tie you to us. What are you gonna do to me? Now that's the first smart question you've asked all day. Don't worry, I'll make it quick. It won't be too painful. Painful? Yeah, I've gotten really good at it. You can run, but you can't hide. 911 operator, what's your emergency? I need your help. Somebody's trying to kill me. Ma'am, what's your location? I don't know the address. Can you check my phone number? On it. We'll send people soon. There you are. Tiffany! Please. We could be friends. I don't need friends. I don't think your parents would want you to do this. I don't think you know my parents at all. Jess, don't be scared. Police, open up. That was quick. You shouldn't have done that. Thank you for coming so quick. She's in there. We checked the house. It was empty. Well, did you check outside? She must have ran away. Can you describe her for us? Yeah, her name's Tiffany. She's the daughter of the people that live there. Nobody's lived there in over 50 years. What? Everybody always told me to pick 80 years, but I want to know what happens. Morning, Mom. Honey, why did you pick 10 hours? I don't want to lose you. You don't know for sure that's going to happen. I want to know. I'm going to school. Bye, Mom. Hi, Mr. Fitz. Giselle, you only have nine hours left. I just want to say it was a pleasure having you in my class. You were a great student. Uh, thank you. Oh, well, looks like somebody is dying tonight. How about you mind your own business for once, Jessica? At least I don't have to worry about bullying you anymore. Hey, um, do you know anything about the timer? You only have six hours left. You should have picked the 80 like everybody told you to. What if I'm really gonna die? What if I'm really gonna die? Okay, here it goes. Three, two, one. Wait, I'm not dead? Hey mom, look, I didn't die. Yes, honey, but there's a three on your face. What do you mean there's a three on my face? Here, look. I wonder what that means. Whatever, I'm going to school. Good morning, Mr. Fitz. Oh my gosh, Giselle, you're not dead. And there's yeah, a- I know. There's a three on my face. I don't know what it means either. Okay then, just take a seat. Okay. Well, well, well. Look who's alive after all. Jessica, don't start. I actually want to apologize for bullying you. Here, please take this. Thank you. I don't feel so... Hey mom, 
Um, my nose is bleeding. Could you please pass me a tissue? Here you go, honey. Thank you. Mom, my blood. It's blue. It's blue? Get out of my house. But mom, I... No buts. You're one of them. Hey, girl. My mom just kicked me out. Can I please come crash at your place? Yeah, sure. Come right over. Thanks. Thanks so much for letting me stay here. What's wrong with your nose? Oh, it's just a nose bleed. Let me see. You freak, leave immediately. You better stay away from me. What's happening? I have to get to the bottom of this. Hey, doctor. What seems to be the problem? My blood is blue. Do you know what's happening to me? You have to come with me. You're a... Hey, doctor. And what seems to be the problem? My blood is blue. Do you know what's happening to me? We have to go. You're a... I'm a what? It's not safe here. I'll tell you somewhere else. Come with me. Where are we going? And why is it getting worse? Because you're transforming. Transforming into what? Look, it's a blue blood. What do we do? Run as fast as you can. Don't worry, you're safe here. Where are we? How could you bring her here? It's not safe. Don't worry, she's one of us. What exactly am I? You're immortal. Wait, I'm immortal? Don't worry, you're safe here. Where are we? How could you bring her here? It's not safe. Don't worry, she's one of us. What exactly am I? You're immortal. Wait, I'm immortal? Yes. How's that even possible? I'll explain later. Come with me. First things first, cover up all the blue with this. Why do I have to cover it up? Because if you don't, people will come looking for you. And what happens if they find us? They'll kill us. Now go do as I say. I covered it up. Good. Now go out and pretend as if you know nothing. Excuse me, miss. We're looking for the blue bloods. Have you seen one? I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait. Your nose. Stay right where you are. Don't try to run. What are you going to wear Friday to the Halloween party? Probably the same thing I wore last year. Girl, no. What? It's a good costume. Yeah, but you've already been Dr. Phil five years in a row. It's my staple. Jess, we're sophomores now. We need to wear something spicy. Hey, Dr. Phil is spicy. I cannot believe you just said that. I don't really have the money to buy a new costume this year. Why don't you ask your parents for some money? Hey, Mom. Yes? Can I borrow 20 bucks? Maria and I are going to go to the mall tonight. Not this week, sweetie. I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. But here, I saw this flyer about someone needing a babysitter. Why don't you call them and see if you can do that for some extra cash? I'll look into it. Thanks. Hello? Hey, my name's Jessica, and I'm calling about your babysitting ad. Great. Would you be able to start tonight? Yeah, I could start tonight. Meet us at 6. Wait, how much does it pay? The pay starts at 100 an hour. It pays what? Thank you for coming over on such short notice. No problem. Are you going to be able to spend the night, too? Oh, um, I'd have to check with my mom. Great, go ahead and do that. Here are the guidelines for babysitting. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Wait, you're leaving already? Did you have any questions? No, but I haven't even checked with my mom yet. Our numbers are on the sheet. Give us a call if you can't stay. Uh, what in the... Tiffany should sleep the entire time we're gone. No need to check on her, for she might wake up. Be aware of words Tiffany doesn't like. Hello? No, Teletubbies, and Babysitter. Have fun and thank you. They didn't leave a phone number. Mom, the parents asked me if I could spend the night with the kid. Yeah, that's fine, sweetie. Are you sure you don't want me to come back home? No, usually overnight gigs pay a lot of money. Yeah, well... Mom? I can't go to the mall tonight. What? Why? I'm babysitting. Babysitting for who? Some family my mom found an ad for. Hopefully the kid's cool. But it's sus over here, Maria. The parents didn't even leave a phone number. We're back, how'd it go? Fine, I don't think she woke up. Happy to hear that. Here's your payment. Thanks. But you guys should really leave a phone number next time. We told you, our phone number was on the paper, see? That wasn't there, I swear. Are you able to do the same time tomorrow? Same price? Yeah, that works. I'll be here. Thanks again, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, have fun. Who are you? Tiffany. Your name's Tiffany? No. So you lied? Because I hate liars. No, I'm Jessica. And you're Tiffany. No shit, Sherlock. 
Language. What are you doing in our house? I'm your, be aware of words Tiffany doesn't like, babysitter. Watcher. Watcher? What do you think I am, a pet? No, no, no. Good, then I won't have to kill you. Good. Yet. Go ahead, eat whatever you want. Where's the paper? Here it is. No phone number. They said there was a phone number. You're not gonna find it. Find what? Their phone number. They never leave it for the watchers because they don't want to be linked to your disappearance. What are you talking about? Let me guess. They pick you up down the street at a 7-Eleven so your car isn't parked outside the house. The phone number you called for the job doesn't exist and they pay you in cash. Well, my family and friends know I'm here. Where? At your house. But they don't know the address. Do you even know my parents' names? They're... Yeah, your family and friends don't know shit. Certainly not enough to tie you to us. What are you going to do to me? Now that's the first smart question you've asked all day. Don't worry, I'll make it quick. It won't be too painful. Painful? Yeah, I've gotten really good at it. You can run, but you can't hide. 911 operator, what's your emergency? I need your help. Somebody's trying to kill me. Ma'am, what's your location? I don't know the address. Can you check my phone number? On it. We'll send people soon. There you are. Tiffany, please. We could be friends. I don't need friends. I don't think your parents would want you to do this. I don't think you know my parents at all. Jess, don't be scared. Police, open up. That was quick. You shouldn't have done that. Thank you for coming so quick. She's in there. We checked the house. It was empty. Well, did you check outside? She must have ran away. Can you describe her for us? Yeah, her name's Tiffany. She's the daughter of the people that live there. Nobody's lived there in over 50 years. What? Please don't be my bank account. I really don't need him to see how broke I am. My hand? Wait, which one? Oh, okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. I don't know what to wear. Okay, very funny genius, but I have class today, so no. Oh, actually, this could work. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, that was pretty cute, so I guess I won't be mad at him, but he owes me a new lipstick. Does anyone know the answer to letter A? No, I don't. Yes? Um, 22? Correct. Good job. Hey, beautiful. What do you say you come with me? Don't be scared. Come on. <laughs> I just knocked somebody out. Or, I guess you did. Okay, yeah, I should probably go. Morning, I just want to say thank you for protecting me like that yesterday. So, I guess you can hear and see everything that I do? Well, guess I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> hey, would you stop that? Hey, Mia. Hi. I, uh, I like your dress. Oh, thanks. Can I have your snap? Yeah, sure, it's... Are you... are you good? Yeah, sorry about that. Why don't I just add you? Okay, my username is... What the... Actually, never mind. That was so embarrassing. Moo! Ow! Oh, I barely even pushed... <gasps> I am so sorry. Do you know how much this outfit was? No. Of course you don't, you idiot! Did you just- No, I- Zip it! You are gonna pay for my dry cleaning! Why are you so aggressive? I'm just trying to look out for you. Well, please tone it down, because you're gonna get me in trouble. On my way! We're gonna party hard tonight! I am so excited. Okay, I'll be waiting. Come on, girl, let's go! Um... <laughs> Let go of the door. I can't. Oh, I see what you're doing. No, I'm being serious. My soulmate, he's- Save it. You should have told me you didn't want to come. No, Sarah, wait. Thanks for wasting my gas. You know, I thought I asked you to tone it down. I don't need you to be acting like a, a parent to me. 
This is getting really annoying. When do I get to control him? Want to switch and control your soulmate? Yes. You will control your soulmate's hand with your mind. You will now be able to see and hear everything your soulmate does. Some things will be censored for privacy reasons. Oh, that's a relief. Are you ready to switch now? Yes. She's in control of me now? Great. Just don't do anything dirty. <gasps> ah! Jeez, I was just kidding. Oh, this is so fun. Ready for the concert? I sure am. Who is she? Oh, no, he doesn't. Whoa! You good? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Chill, this is my sister. Whoops. Damn, and I thought I was overprotective. Sorry, I guess we both kind of are. <laughs> come here, little girl. Come here. Come here. Here, put these noise blockers on immediately. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Honey, listen. If someone's whispering, you need to run the other way immediately. Whispering is only used to kill people. Got it? Hey, Brianna. Hey, Jake. You look so beautiful. You look so beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful, so... Hey, Bestie. There's something going on with Jake. He was whispering earlier. He tried to kill me. What? Brianna, for your own safety, I wouldn't mention this again. Come and see me after class. What did you need to see me for, Miss Applewood? You're not supposed to mention things people don't want to hear about. Don't mention... <laughs> Brianna. Brianna. Stop, Brianna. stop! Who's whispering? Brianna. No one's whispering. Brianna. I think she's infected with whispers. You're infected with whispers. What does that mean? You'll keep hearing whispers in your head. Then they'll take over. Then you'll start whispering. Then you'll die. No, no, I can't die. There has to be a cure. There's no cure. Only one person has ever survived from it. We have to find the person who survived. Brianna. Stop, Brianna. stop! Brianna. Brianna. Whispers are all I can hear. Did you find the name of the person who survived? I'm looking. What are you doing? You're infected with whispers. I have to kill you before you start whispering and you start killing everyone. No, please don't. I promise. I can find a cure. No. There is no cure. Well, I have to try. You can't hide from me. You can't hide. Brianna, are you okay? The whispers are taking over. The whispers are taking over. You need to stop whispering. You have to try and fight it. I'm trying. The whispers are taking over. The whispers are taking over. You need to fight it. I can't. Here's your soulmate candy cane. Mm. No, don't eat it. You need it to find your soulmate. Only your soulmate's candy cane will match with yours, making a heart. But every year, you'll only be given the candy cane for the month of December. So I only get one month to find my soulmate every year? Yes, so you better get looking. Hi, Bree. See me. Let me see your candy cane. Let's see if we're soulmates. Does it match? No, too big. You broke my candy cane. It's finally the month of December. It's time to look for our soulmates. This year is going to be the year I find my soulmate. I just know it. Jake, let me see your candy cane. Is it a match? It's too small. Uh, size doesn't matter. In this case, it does. What? It's December 31st already, and I still haven't found anyone that matches my candy cane. Hey, Brie. I'm having a New Year's party. Everyone's invited. Want to come through? New Year's party. That's a perfect place to meet your soulmate. Here's a drink. Time to party. No time for chit-chat. I need to find who matches my candy cane. Kevin, can I see your candy cane? Let's see if we're soulmates. I ate mine by mistake. Brianna, do you want a drink? Let me see your candy cane. I'm gonna have to pass on that drink. Can you at least try to enjoy the party? I've tried everyone here. No one matches my candy cane. Attention everyone. The new year is in one minute. It's almost January 1st. That means I haven't found my soulmate this year again. You've made this entire night about you and finding your soulmate. You completely wasted my New Year's Eve. You're right. I'm sorry. So you never found your soulmate? Nope. I never did. But I realized there's more to life than finding your soulmate. Are you telling stories again? My best friend never found her soulmate either. Yep. I still have my candy cane. It's always been you. Everybody always told me to pick 80 years, but I want to know what happens. Morning, Mom. Honey, why did you pick 10 hours? I don't want to lose you. You don't know for sure that's going to happen. I want to know. I'm going to school. Bye, Mom. 
Hi, Mr. Fitz. Giselle, you only have nine hours left. I just want to say it was a pleasure having you in my class. You were a great student. Uh, thank you. Oh, well, looks like somebody is dying tonight. How about you mind your own business for once, Jessica? At least I don't have to worry about bullying you anymore. Hey, um, do you know anything about the timer? You only have six hours left. You should have picked the 80 like everybody told you to. What if I'm really gonna die? What if I'm really gonna die? Okay, here it goes. Three, two, one. Wait, I'm not dead? Hey, Mom, look, I didn't die. Yes, honey, but there's a three on your face. What do you mean there's a three on my face? Here, look. I wonder what that means. Whatever. I'm going to school. Good morning, Mr. Fitz. Oh my gosh, Giselle, you're not dead. And there's yeah, a... I know. There's a three on my face. I don't know what it means either. Okay then, just take a seat. Okay. Well, well, well. Look who's alive after all. Jessica, don't start. I actually want to apologize for bullying you. Here, please take this. Thank you. I don't feel so... Hey mom, my nose is bleeding. Could you please pass me a tissue? Here you go, honey. Thank you. Mom, my blood. It's blue. It's blue? Get out of my house. But mom, I... No buts. You're one of them. Hey girl, my mom just kicked me out. Can I please come crash at your place? Yeah, sure. Come right over. Thanks. Thanks so much for letting me stay here. What's wrong with your nose? Oh, it's just a nose bleed. Let me see. You freak. Leave immediately. You better stay away from me. What's happening? I have to get to the bottom of this. Hey, doctor. What seems to be the problem? My blood is blue. Do you know what's happening to me? You have to come with me. You're a... Hey, doctor. And what seems to be the problem? My blood is blue. Do you know what's happening to me? We have to go. You're a... I'm a what? It's not safe here. I'll tell you somewhere else. Come with me. Where are we going? And why is it getting worse? Because you're transforming. Transforming into what? Look, it's a blue blood. What do we do? Run as fast as you can. Don't worry, you're safe here. Where are we? How could you bring her here? It's not safe. Don't worry, she's one of us. What exactly am I? You're immortal. Wait, I'm immortal? Don't worry, you're safe here. Where are we? How could you bring her here? It's not safe. Don't worry, she's one of us. What exactly am I? You're immortal. Wait, I'm immortal? Yes. How's that even possible? I'll explain later. Come with me. First things first, cover up all the blue with this. Why do I have to cover it up? Because if you don't, people will come looking for you. And what happens if they find us? They'll kill us. Now go do as I say. I covered it up. Good. Now go out and pretend as if you know nothing. Excuse me, miss. We're looking for the blue bloods. Have you seen one? I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait. Your nose. Stay right where you are. Don't try to run.